You've achieved a lot over the last 10 years. And with belief in success and a faith in God, New Orleans will achieve even more. The 43rd President of the United States addressed a couple hundred students and dignitaries Friday morning from the auditorium of Warren Easton Charter High School using the word resilient multiple times during his 20 minute speech. And so Laura and I are here in New Orleans to remind our country about what strong leadership means. And we're here to salute the leaders. Bush commending the city's recovery efforts, saying New Orleans has come a long way in 10 years, but the work's not done. One thing the former president did not talk about during his visit here at Warren Easton was his administration's response in the days that followed Hurricane Katrina, something many people here in New Orleans are still unhappy about. My concern is that when when people were trapped in their attics, suffocating and dehydrating, the help is not coming. People like Aaron Grant, who personally hold Bush accountable for a response many said came too late. A much different tune inside, though, where Bush showed off his dance moves for the Warren Easton Band. Before that, he met with students like Ashante Martin, who was six when Katrina hit. Oh, yeah, he was like. Cracking jokes and stuff, you know. The Bushes concluded their tour addressing the packed auditorium. Laura Bush honored for her foundation's commitment to rebuilding libraries across the Gulf Coast following the storm. Warren Easton is one of them, and Warren Easton is one of 46. New Orleans schools that have received library grants. Number 43 ended his speech by saying the Crescent City has once again risen. And its best days lie ahead. Thank you for having us. Reporting on your side from Mid City, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News.